Welcome back everyone. This is going to be part two of my bag review. The first part was showing you the bags with my projects in them. My end of the year, what I have left to work on. went and got some coffee. Now we're going to go through my buckets. My buckets of bags. Mm -hmm. So grab yourself something to drink and your project or whatever you're working on, you know. Let me move something out of the way. I think we are going to go through this big bucket first. So I am going to take everything out and then we will come back, okay? Okay, I had attempted to do this once before. Now I have a whole bunch of notions, pouches, ball sacks, that kind of thing. Let's go through those first. The biggest notions pouch is this one. It has the Kitchener stitch on it. And I think what I'm going to do, you know, this is big enough to be, this is sock size. So if I were going to do a sock, I could put socks in here. And then when I went to do the toe, I could Kitchener stitch the toe. That's the idea behind this one. And this is a canvas, a nice canvas. And I'm beginning, I hate to say it guys, as far as bags go, I'm really liking the canvas bags. I don't know why, I, I, I like all of them, but the canvas ones are tactile. They're, they're tough, they have texture, they're tactile. I don't know, but I love them all. I love them all. Anyway, I am partial to the canvas though. Okay, I have several notions, other notion pouches. This one came from Shell, and she is called Cre Creative Chaos Crochet Coffee, Yarn, and Chaos. <laughs> and I love this bag. It's the Tattooed Girls, All or Nothing, it says. This one's a nice one. What's on the inside? Oh, yeah. And the inside has red splotches. And then I have one from Amber. And this is her um, office. The office. I'm actually going to set this one aside. And this one is going to be a giveaway. I'm not an office fan. If any of you are Office fans, uh, leave a comment down below. And that is going to be a giveaway because it has a box bottom and it says Dunder Mufflin on the inside. Now, I loved the movie Office Space, but I'm not a fan of the... 
the the um, series. This is a Notions pouch. I just knew I was going to love this. This is a Notions pouch. But I haven't actually, this is made by um, Ella at No Catchy Name. But I, I don't really love it as a pouch for in my, I don't know why. I, this is not something I go to. There is nothing wrong with it. But it's not a go-to for me. But it's really nifty. See, you just pinch the, I forget what they call this. It's got that little mechanism in there that you pinch it. I don't know. It's nice and padded. It's just the top is not, I'm just not huge on this, this top. So that's going to go in a giveaway also. This one, where did I get this one? I forget where I got this one. I don't have a, a tag on it. I don't know if y'all can hear the cats. The cats are under the building. And this one's got fruit on the inside. I want to say this came with a something I ordered. These are fun. And these have a little loop on them. So you can put this in your in your project bag and loop it inside of it. Then we have, now this one's a wordy dirt. Caution, caution, wordy dirt. If you don't like wordy dirts, you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> I won't say it, I'll just show it. So here we go. This is from Naughty Knitting Sacks. And it's this beautiful uh, daisies and purple. There feels like there's something, oh. And I've got a needle keeper inside. And this one's fun. And then I have, this is a ball sack. This is what I call a ball sack. You put your ball of yarn in there. This is from Amber at Crafty Performers. This one is Doctor Who. And it's got snaps. This one's got polka dots, and you put your you can put your ball of yarn in, and then you snap the two snaps, and you put your yarn so it's coming through the center. They're great. I love these ball sacks. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that one, and then this one goes on the outside of your your cake. I've been saying ball, but it's your cake. This is called Skein Coat. She's on Etsy. This one is a winter. And it's a, it's a flannel. And it goes around your, your cake. I have a couple of them that I made myself. I have this one. I crocheted it. And I have crocheted the deal so you can tighten it. And I did the same thing with this one. I think this was a, this one is a cotton. And I think this one was landscapes. Where is the closure? I never did put in the end. <laughs> Guess I ought to do that. Oh, and this one just goes through like that. So it doesn't have two. It just has one. Because there's those. Okay. And then this one is from Randy over at Randy's Ran Random Ramblings. I'm not sure she's even putting out videos now. But this, I bought this from her shop, and it is Wake, Crochet, and Slay. It's part of her logo. This one has box bottom. And this one is full up, straight up, ready to go. 
It's got all kinds of stuff in here. I even forgot I had this. Let's see, we've got two tape measures. One, two pairs of scissors, row counter, cable needle, stitch holder, another cable needle, darning needle. This is one of the metal ones and I love these. Light bulb. And this is the needle minders to go that goes on the end of the knitting needles. These two right here, these hard rubber, these are older. This is an older style and these were my mama's. If I can get a hold of them, they're slippery. These. These were my mama's. And then stitch markers in here. Oh, another row counter. That was my mama's. One of the little um, little knitting stitch marker. Crochet one, either or. Little snowflake. And this came from Randy and Randy's Ramblings. Her her Etsy shop's called Ann Sear Handmade. I'll link that down below. So yeah, this uh, <laughs> this little bag is all set. I should be using this little bag for one of my project bags. This bag I am going to put somewhere else. Got some spoons in here. And this is a, a metal straw. And this is one of those insulated lunch bags. I'm going to put this with my travel stuff. I got this from Erin Condren when I ordered a planner from them. That's really a nice, a nice one. Now I have all of these in a stack in here, nice and neat, and I kind of hate to disrupt them, but I'm going to pull them out. Bag lady. Yep, bag lady. I'm just kind of looking through to see what I've got here. Okay. It's just hard to let any of them go. really hard. Okay, this one is um, another one from Shell at Creative Chaos Crochet and it is the Holly Hobby. I am not letting this go. This is reference to my childhood. I had Holly Hobby stuff in my room. This one has stuff in it, scissors, row counter, and tape measure in this pocket. And the pocket has a snap right here. So this one has pockets on the inside. And it has a handle on the outside. She makes awesome, awesome bags. She made bags for me for my website when I still had a website. And um, they went out in with yarn when I was selling yarn. This one is a Coastalist Creations. This one is Sheep.
got to have pockets, no pockets. It has this bright orange on the inside. It's a really good size. It's a very nice bag. I'm gonna keep that one too. This is an older, I've had this bag for quite a while. It's the Knitting Girl and Cats. Has a skein of yarn here on the pool. I had this one a long time. This is a Bags by Awesome Granny. And of course it's got like that teal color. Well, you know, I can't let that go. It's another really good size. It's got your, your arm strap and everything. She makes, she and her husband do this as a business. She was half of a podcast for a while and she, um, she also had a job. Now, I don't know if she's still working full time, <clears throat> but she was at the time and her husband started helping her sew the bags. This one, where did I get this one? So, this was a gift. Look how big it is sloths and then her name is I kept that tag for a long time but now I don't know what I did with it but this was a gift from somebody if one of you remembers let me know and then on the outside of this bag I need to take these off and put these on a bag where they show up better but these are, <clears throat> I've got a collection of pins on here. There's a Colorado pin. There's my pin when I graduated from beauty school. There's pins on here from when my mom and dad and I did um, hiking over in Germany. I have a pin because I was in the Saratoma Club. So we got poker runs, all kinds of things. But these, but you can't see them on here. I'm gonna have to take them off. I'm gonna do that. I'll come right back. I want to say that this was a Lori Gray bag. So if y'all know for sure, let me know. Because I think it was a gift from Alice. Then I have this bag. I love this bag. This is from Fancy Boy Designs. I gave one of these away. Just so one of you has one of these, just like mine. It's got red on the inside and it's got all the Valentine boys on the outside. <laughs> Cupids. This bag is a one of a kind. There is no more. There is one more bag like this, and the maker of it has the other one. This was made by Levi, and he he used to have a. Um, he's still on Instagram. He does a lot of stitching. Uh, he and his husband live over on the East Coast. I can't remember. The husband does like theater stuff. And Levi is a nurse. And this is handmade by him. He made he was making bags for a while and I won this. And he has one just like it. And it's an I Love New York bag. And it was WTF knitting. Really nice. Got that canvassy material on the bottom. And it's got this plane on the inside. I remember him talking about why he did the the like plain muslin on the inside because he said if not you can't see your stuff <laughs> so yeah we won't be getting rid of that one either now this one I think I would let these go at least one of these go I think I'd keep probably keep this one 
This is a Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Brown's bag, which is Jody, and she's half of the Grocery Girls. And it looks like she does these to where it's a knitted piece and it's usually, I think this one was a Suburban Stitcher color. And they give her the picture and she knits up the, the stuff and then, and then she takes a picture and then she makes it into a bag. This one has got that same, just like Levi's bag. And I have a... I made this bag pool myself from this little stone on here and I put it on one of the lobster claws. And then I put a couple buttons on here. This one button was my mom's. It says, damn I'm good. And then this one I found somewhere it says zombies eat brains so you're safe. So I, I really like the color of this one. And then I have a second one. And it has a bag pull that was made by Cheryl. This is a Mrs. Brown's bag. It has a black handle. It has that same color on the inside. It has a couple of little stains in it. But I'm going to let that one go. Where was the other one? Let's set those aside. Okay. This one is a knit for brains. This is a really good size. It has all of the yarn skeins and knitting needles on it. I think I will let this one go too. I don't think it has her logo. It does have a needle minder to go with it. This is early on when she started making bags. I don't think she's had this design for quite a while. But that one's going to go. I don't remember where I got this one. Oh, this is one of the, this is one of Rita's bags. I won this from, I guess we were doing a, I don't know, we were doing something on somebody's channel and I, I this was a gift when I, I made a donation or something. And I got a whole bunch of buttons on here. I've got my button and a whole bunch of other buttons on here. But Rita made this bag. And she is, and here's the inside. And she is Lina's design on Etsy. And I'll leave her link down there. Of course I'm not going to let that one go. I think I would let this one go. This one is a great, this one is a tote, but I can't keep all of them. Something has to go. Has a box bottom, has donuts and stuff all over it. And then on the inside, it has this gingham. And this one is a bag by um, Randy at Randy's Random Ramblings or Ansir Handmade. So I'm going to put those other ones in there, and this will be the bags that are going. And this is another tote by her, but I can't let this go because this one is Coffee Diva. It's the color. I love that it's got, it's a tote. I love that it looks almost like a coffee theme on the inside. Oh yeah. Not letting that one go either. Okay, that's going in there. I might let this one go. 
this is a tote. And you guys, if these have Cerberus's hair on them, I can't help it. Yeah, this is a nice box bottom tote. I got this in Colorado. It has this hedgehog on it. And then it has pockets on the back. So that one is going. So now I have lots of room in here. Okay. I have a bag that I got from Elizabeth at Moore Crafts. It's a marble bag and it's a really good size. This is a great bag. I use this when I make stuff for the boys. I'm not, I'm going to be making another sweater, at least one for now for Oliver because his is already too small, <laughs> which I kind of thought it would happen. I made the biggest size I could. So now I have to find another pattern where I can make him a bigger, a bigger one. I just, this is a brand new one. I just got this. This is a bag from Bridget over at Queens Crafts by Bridget. And it is more tattooed ladies. Oh, I love this bag. And this is the, a, the Japanese knot bag where it goes in, the one goes in the other. Wait. I love this bag. It's just so nice. She does a beautiful bag beautiful bags. I think that she's taking a break from making them, but I believe she has some for sale. So you just have to contact her and ask her what she's got. Okay. There's that one. Then I have this one I brought back from Colorado. This is the one that my mama painted. She, she painted all the spots on it. It's a, a canvas bag and I have to keep that one. Of course, I have to keep that one. I have one. Now, this was a hat. I think I may give this one away. So, it was a hat, but it was too big. So, then I made a cord. And I put a cord on it and I put beads on the cord so that it could be a little knitting sack. So that's, I think that'll be a giveaway. And then here's a second one. This one I really like. I'm not going to give this one away because I really like this one. This one I made as a bag. It has a, a round bottom on it and I knitted this one. And it's, it's very sturdy. And I use like a bulky weight yarn. Really like this one. Okay, and then this one is a bag by Ella at No Catchy Name. It's a big sack. And it comes with a little pouch. She doesn't always do them with pouches. But I think I'm going to let this one go. And then I have this one. This was um, a bag. I think this is going to put all the pins on. But this bag I use a lot of times when I'm going somewhere and I can put two or three projects in it. And it was from McNeedles in, uh, near, near where my daughter lives, my daughter Chelsea. And they're no longer open. The McNeedles closed, which sucked. I did a live from there. But I'm gonna put all my pins on this one. And this one will be used to tote things back and forth with. Let's set that over there. And I have a couple of these bags. 
This is my winter one, which is a sweet bag. It's a really sweet bag. I love the inside of this one. And it is one of the accordion. So this bag came from Laura at Knit for Brains. And it's an accordion bag, see? So when you open, when you undo it, it sits wide open so you can see what's in here. You could even set this on the floor and put yarn in it and do a project where all your yarn is in one spot. And see, this is what I mean. Her husband does these little wooden um, tags. She makes the best bags. I have a lot, a lot of her bags. Okay, I'm going to put that one on top. Okay, that's the big box. I was really hoping I could get them all into one box. I don't think that's going to happen. I forgot to show you this one. I don't even know where it came from. I do not know. Etsy, I think. Laulo, L-A-U-L-O. This is a jewelry pouch. So I need to put this with the travel stuff. Need to take it up and put it where my, in my jewelry area. But you put your jewelry in these little, in these little pockets. And the other stuff on the inside. And then you pull it closed. Tie it up and it is ready to travel. And it's got puppy dogs on it. But I seriously don't remember where even I got this one. I have no clue. If anybody else remembers me showing this and you know where it came from, y'all let me know. Don't know. Uh, this one is another one from Jane at Scrap Tastic Yarns. I bought this bag as a, it's Jane Wynn Designs. This one, was for Charlie when she was doing the fundraiser for Charlie. And I'm gonna put that over there and see if maybe I can put some in there. Oh my gosh, I forgot I bought this one. This one is the crossover. I'm supposed to put a tag on this one. To, I have something I'm supposed to iron on this. Is it my... I think it's this. I'm supposed to iron my Gryffindor patch on it. Yep. I cleaned off my wall, you guys. I'll do a tour of that at some point, too. I guess I will hang this back here together. I had to move a couple things around, but I made it work. Um, Dad and I got this from the bank. I might see if Chelsea wants that. It has to, or it, or it needs to go in with the other travel stuff. Then I have this bag. This bag, these are, these are canvas bags. This is the Evil Eye one. I got this one in Colorado. I have washed it, but it needs to be, needs to take the, the roller to it. But I'm gonna let that one go. This is another canvas one I got from Loop Yarn in London. I'll let that one go. I 
I am just not... I love the idea of this one, but this bag is just kind of crazy. This is the Foul Mouth Legion. I just don't like the way it's made. So that one's going. Here's another ball sack. This is a um, zipper pull for a bag. Have another pouch. This one Cheryl gave me. This came from. She got this at Col in Colorado Springs. There's a place called the North Pole there. It's a nice canvas one. I will probably keep that one. That can go in there. Now this one was the Fancy Boy Designs. Uh, this is a Hufflepuff bag. And since I am not a Hufflepuff, I love the, but I am not a Hufflepuff, I'm going to let that bag go too. I got too, huh? I got way too much stuff, you guys. What is this one? This one is another one from Elizabeth at More Crafts. It's got the sloths on it, and she has her tag on that one. I will keep that one. Ooh, I think we're going to get them into one bucket. This one is from... This is the Gilmore Girls. This is one of those accordion from Knit for Brains. Chelsea has one just like it. This is another one of my naughty sacks, I believe. Yes. This one is another naughty sack. <laughs> it even has her pin. No, that's Papillon Knittery. I have a pin though, somewhere. I have a naughty pin. I've got a couple pins on this one and this is a nice canvas. another naughty bag I love my naughty bags y'all know I love my naughty bags not even gonna lie this is the one that I crocheted and it turned out so good I probably will never make another crochet bag in my life so I will keep that one empty that's awesome okay so then I have another these all these are all from from um, Amber at crafty performers and I know she's got a couple of them in there but I don't know which ones and then this is another naughty one, but I got this one on Etsy. So, and it's got scissors. Oh, it does say it is from Handmade with Love from Mama Bucks. Mama Bucks Haberdashery. And if you don't like the wordy dirts, it's a beautiful teal. That's it, y'all. That's my bags. <laughs> I have one more naughty bag over there. I will show you that one. Hold on. This is probably my most favorite bag. I, I don't know why, other than it's a canvas bag. I started 
my yarn journey, my fiber and yarn journey with the Granny Square. It's a Natty Nitty Sack and it's got Granny Square. It's naughty. It's got the skeletons on the inside, but this is the one that has my washcloths. This goes in the car, it goes in my purse, it goes, this bag goes everywhere. I have flown with this bag. I absolutely love this bag. I don't know what it is with me in this bag. I'm almost done with this knitted washcloth. But I just stick some cotton yarn in this bag and I'm all set. I'm all set. I also have a, a hook and some scissors. But this bag can be mushed and stuck in my stuff so easily. So that may be another reason why I like the canvas. I hope I have given you all some ideas of the types of bags that are out there and that just watching me go through them gives you ideas on how you might, what type of bags you might want to get. I really hope that you will go check some of these people out and get your own bags. Katie makes the naughty bags, but she also has the fuzzy sheep. So if you're not a naughty bag person, you can get the fuzzy sheep. Both bags are tremendous. They're very well made. I buy a lot of Knit for Brains bags. She has a great eye for the fabrics. The fabrics are always, she always brings them out at the right time when you're like, oh, I was looking for a winter bag and she brings out the great winter bags. Um, she just does a really great job at, at picking the fabrics. Um, the bags by Awesome Granny are very well made. They are somebody that, she's somebody that the knitters love to buy her bags. Um, I would buy bags all day long from Shell at Creative Chaos Crochet. She is a hardworking woman. I have met her personally. I like her very much. I have very few friends on Facebook because I got to where I was getting too much stuff going on over there but she's one of my friends on Facebook and I just she's a great person um but yeah I've all of these I would I would buy again I love them I love bags if you have ideas too leave your idea for bags down in the comments okay you guys I hope you enjoyed part two I hope I am sitting on the couch and um, enjoying pain medication and uh, just, you know, healing up at this moment. And when I come back, I won't sound like this all nasally. <laughs> Fingers crossed, right? I love y'all. Have fun today and I'll see you later. Bye everyone.